Okay guys, now you're gonna be doing a lab called Mystery Mole Bags, okay? You're gonna have a set of um, seven bags and you are they all look the same and you are going to be massing these out on a balance and you are going to calculate how many grams are in the bag. You're gonna take the difference from the empty bag. So at the top of the data table, you'll see that we have a mass of the empty bag. So each time when you're gonna put the mass of the sample, um, you're gonna subtract that bag off each time, okay? So it's important that you guys do that once you record your mass, subtract that bag off, and then you're only putting in the mass of the sample, okay? You just got done talking about how to convert from uh, grams to moles, moles to grams, right? So in this particular exercise, this one's gonna be a little different because what you're doing is you're actually calculating the molar mass, okay? So you're trying to find the molar mass of the sample. If you remember, when we talked about molar mass, it is grams per mole, right? So grams divided by the number of moles. So in this exercise, you're gonna be taking the mass of your sample divided by the number of moles of the sample to figure out the molar mass. And then you're gonna match it up with the known elements you're gonna to have to calculate the molar mass for the known elements, and then you're gonna to have to write that um, in your data table and try to identify the samples, okay? So now you will see this, what I'm holding up right here, this is an introduction and it basically gives you a lot of information about molar mass and how things were calculated and things like that. Be sure and keep a hold of this because when you guys do your post lab report, you're gonna to have to include in a CER format, and you've done this before where you have your guiding question, then um, you do your claim after you've done the lab itself, then you provide your evidence, which will be your data table, and then you have your reasoning, okay? Why you decided on those things, okay? Why you, why you identified A as this, why you identified B as this, and so on. So you're gonna have to give a reasoning as to why you chose those. Um, so this part right here that I'm holding up, this is your introduction piece. This will help you with your reasoning, with your statement, okay, writing it, because it's gonna ask for some science background, stuff that you already knew. Remember, we talked about that. Now, here's your handout that you're gonna get in the Google Classroom Drive, okay? This is your data table that you're gonna record the data that I'm gonna get ready to weigh and we're gonna show you. This is what you're recording your data in. As you notice right here where it says massive empty bag, so each time you do this, you're gonna have the mass of your sample, but you're gonna have to take off the mass of the empty bag, okay? The last sheet that you will see is, this is the sheet of the known compound. So these are actually what's in these bags, okay? The known sample. Then there's the formula. So you're gonna need to use the formula and calculate the molar mass of each substance. This is what you're gonna use to compare to the data that you collected here. And then in the very bottom table, you're going to have A through G and you're gonna identify your substances, okay? Now, on each bag, it'll have the letter and the number of moles. But what we're gonna do for you guys is before we put this in the shared drive, because it may be hard to read here, we're gonna go ahead and fill in the moles for each of the eight or excuse me seven substances okay so we're going to do that for you but then you're going to have to record the mass when i put it on the balance okay so right now we have sample a okay and i'm going to go ahead and put sample a on the balance and then you are going to record the mass okay now we're gonna go with sample B. Now sample C. Sample D. Sample E. F.
and finally G. Okay, now as you can see, each one has a number of moles on the bag. Okay, but well, like I said before, we're going to fill those in for you just because it may be a little difficult to read in the video. So when you get your document, this part on this table, we're going to go ahead and fill out the number of moles in there. Okay, and remember, what are the units for grams per mole? Or excuse me, units of molar mass, they are grams per mole. Okay, so that's how you're going to calculate the molar mass for these samples. Okay. All right, so once you finish, remember, you'll turn this in, so you'll have to fill in all of the data table using uh, CAMI, fill it all in, and then turn that in. Following that, you're going to then, on Tuesday, you're going to write a CER, Claim Evidence Reasoning. You're gonna, there's gonna be a template that you use. You'll fill in the template based on the information from the lab. So what you might want to do is keep a copy uh, when, you, when you do this lab, you might want to take a picture uh, or print it out if you can print it out. If you can't print it out, that's fine. So once you type in your data, you may want to take a picture of your data table so that way you remember what your results were. So when you're answering those questions in the CER, you have that data right in front of you, okay? So just that, that way you don't have to keep going back and forth and going back into that assignment and then trying to use that data to answer the other questions, okay? So just giving you some advice uh, to help you out so it wouldn't be as difficult, all right? Have a good day, we'll see you soon.